Nage does not change his hands when pinning Uke. Pull Uke onto his stomach. Put your foot under so that your front faces in the direction of Uke's head and gently push Uke's arm down and across his body. Katadori, Ikkyo, Irimi, and Tenkan. Every class begins with the same exercises. Can you remember the five basic stretches? Do you remember Koho Tento Undo, rolling backward? We would like to add to our second class, Zempo Undo, falling forward. When falling forward, be sure to extend your arms out in front of you and support your body as you fall. Turn your head to the one side so you prevent injury to your face. Do not let your body touch the mat. As you review the Kotagaishi Undo wrist stretch, remember to extend with both arms down in order to maximize your stretch. We would now like to add Ikkyo Undo wrist stretching. Point the fingers of your left hand down to the mat. With your right hand, hold your left. Then, with both arms, push them together with an equal pressure from both sides. You should be aware of how much stretch you can take. Go as far as you can to maximize your stretch without straining. Do all wrist stretches on both sides. Shomonuchi Ikkyo Undo is one of many key development exercises you will perform. Bend your knees as you move forward and bring your arms up. Cut down with your arms and then move back. It is important to maintain good extension and keep unbendable arm. Do not lean forward, rather keep your body upright. This exercise should be practiced on both the left and the right sides. Keep your weight underside. This principle of Aikido applies to this exercise. Do not allow your shoulders to rise up. When dropping your arms, use your entire body. Katatori Ikkyo Irimi means grab the shoulder, first technique. Nage presents a shoulder. Uke steps forward to grab it. Nage steps back and takes Uke's hand on top. Turning his wrist over, Nage moves Uke to the mat. The proper way to step back involves moving at a slight angle. First, turn the heel of your back foot in the direction you are going. 
With your front foot, take a large step back and slide back your other foot. Always maintain good posture. In motion, you see how Nage should lead Uke's balance down without breaking the line of his attack. As he brings Uke's wrist forward, Nage uses his free hand on Uke's elbow. As Sensei said, take a small step next to Uke's elbow and then with the outside foot lead him off balance and down. Notice how Sensei cuts down directly in front of his body. He keeps weight on side and bends his knees. Yeah. 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 
Up until now, we have been showing you irimi, which means to go in front. However, now we would like to do the same technique in tenkan, which means going around behind. Instead of cutting down in front of Uke, Nage lifts Uke's arm and goes behind him. You go, you don't push, you don't have to push back. You turn the body and circle a little. The initial body movement is the same. Then Nage slides his front foot forward to the outside of Uke. He does not push against Uke's elbow, rather he leads him around. Nage pivots and puts his knee on the mat. The pin is identical. Your instructor should review the technique from the first class Katara Dori Kosadori Kotagaishi. But if time runs out in class, try to practice a little before or after each class. You needn't try breakfall just yet, but work on your backward roll. You'll get there soon enough. Katata Dori Shihonage, Irumi and Tenkan. Before we begin this technique, be sure to review the stretching exercises covered so far up to Koho Tento Undo. Tendo undo is an extension of Shomonuchi Ikkyo undo. As the hands return to the hips, pivot 180 degrees, then swing the arms up again. Turn your body as a unit, do not turn your head first. Pivot with your weight on the balls of your feet, with your heels lightly skimming over the mat. Do not pivot with your weight on your heels, as you will quickly lose your balance. Hapo Undo Hapo undo means eight directions and is an extension of the preceding exercises.
This time we are going to take a short sliding step forward before going into the arm raised position. We then pivot as before. This time we continue stepping in a new direction and pivoting so that we cover the cardinal and secondary points of the compass. If you start with left foot forward, for example, you will first slide to the north, then pivot and step south. Step to the east, then pivot west. Step to the southwest, then pivot northeast, and so on. It's easy to remember if you just keep track of left, right, left, right. If you start with your right foot forward, of course, the pattern is reversed. Of course, these compass directions are just to help you get started. You should be able to do hapo undo starting from whatever direction you happen to be facing at the time. In Takubi Kosa Undo, swing your arms in front of you so that your hands cross in front of your stomach, palms up. Next, swing your hands up, lightly crossed, to eye level. Don't raise your shoulders. Move as if you were embracing a large beach ball. Katatadori Shihonage, a wrist grab attack, arm lock throw. Uke attacks by grabbing Nage's wrist. Nage leads Uke into an arm lock and throws him down.